the famous artist Picasso once said, "If I were a Chinese, I would not be a painter, but a calligrapher. I would use my calligraphy to write my paintings." Calligraphy is an art treasure unique to China. It can be traced back to the original symbols of Yangshao culture, which are not only the pictures for recording things in ancient times, but also the original hieroglyphics. The fact that calligraphy and painting share the same origin makes it possible that Chinese characters are endowed with primitive artistic connotation from the very beginning. Chinese calligraphic scripts can be roughly categorized into the following scripts: Zhuan Shu, the Cell Script; Li Shu, Clerical Script. Kai Shu, regular script; Xing Shu, semi-cursive script; and Cao Shu, cursive script. Each of which has its own unique style. The seal script is elegant. Clerical script is mellow. Regular script is standard. Semi-cursive script is fluent. And the cursive script is flowing. Su Dongpo, a great calligrapher in the Song Dynasty, put forward the theory of calligraphy, saying "Kai Ru Li, Xing Ru Zou, Cao Ru Ben," which described the feeling encouraged by the three calligraphy styles of Kai Shu, Xing Shu, and Cao Shu. Wang Xizhi, who is respectfully called Shu Sheng by the Chinese, had only 28 characters in his "Kuai Xue Shi Qing Tie," clearing after snowfall. But it was written in alternating styles of Xing Cao and Xing Kai, rich in variety but well organized. Sometimes cursive like water flow, and sometimes static like mountain ridge. As a form of art, calligraphy reflects the personal style and cultural cultivation of the writer. There is a saying that the character is like the person who writes it. What's more, it can also reflect the mental state of the calligrapher when he does it. Please have a look at this work, Zi Xu Tie, Self Narration. What do you think of the personality of the author Huai Su? What was his mood when he wrote it? He was a bold man who did not pay attention to minor points of conduct. When drunk, he often rolled at well. This work is the calligrapher's self-description of his experience in calligraphy practice, and in the last part, he mentioned people's praise of him, where you can feel from the strokes of ink his mood from feeling good to feeling proud. Hey, yes, that's the video, and then let's say,、uh, Mr. Xu, have you do the demonstration? Mr. Chief, it's your time. Okay. 当我们在学习写字之前呢。Wait, wait a minute. Sorry. Yes. 我们在学习写字之前，让我们先了解一下毛笔的执笔方法。Mr. Xu will demonstrate how to hold the the writing brush. 他的怎么要领呢？是五指齐臂，立贯笔尖。Uh, five fingers to hold the brush and keep the shaft upright. 具体一点来说，是拇指、食指和中指作为主要的支撑点。Ah,、uh, the thumb, the index finger, and the middle finger will mainly hold the、uh, shaft. 而无名指和小指作为辅助力量。附着在毛笔上面。Ah,、uh, the ring finger and the small finger will be supporter. 然后，主要的力量要集中在笔尖。So you will ah、uh, make the ah、uh, at <laughs> you will make the strength ah、uh, of your ah、uh, fingers ah、uh, to the sharp of the brush. 好，大家看一下，这是纸笔的背面图。So it will be like this. Okay, 这是正面的 Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. 下面让我们进行笔画的，就是汉字基本笔画的学习 And then let's learn how to write the basic strokes. 
Okay. This is the horizontal stroke. So please follow Mr. Xu. Yeah, that's horizontal stroke. Okay. 接下来让我们学习竖的写法 And then the vertical stroke Yeah, please follow him接下来让我们学习写画的写法 and the third stroke is left falling stroke. This is left falling. Please follow Mr. Xu. And then the right falling stroke. The right falling stroke. Please follow him. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 接下来学习勾的写法. And then the hook. But first we will write vertical stroke and then the hook. Look, the hook. Okay. Yes, can you write the hook? Next one is the right rising stroke. Yeah, that's right writing, rising, sorry, right rising stroke. Okay, so the last one is the dot. Yes. So these are the seven basic strokes in Chinese character. Okay. Okay. So Mr. Xu said there is an amazing character. Uh, it contains all of the ba seven basic strokes. The character is Yong. It means forever. Mr. Xu is writing the character Yong, which contains the seven basic strokes. Yeah, this character is Yong. It means forever. So the first is the dot. Yeah, this is a horizontal stroke. Okay. This one is the vertical stroke. This one is the hook. Okay. Mm -hmm. So th this one, this one, can, can you show it? Yeah. Okay. This one is the right rising stroke. And then the following is the left falling stroke. Okay. So that one is the short left falling stroke. Okay. 这一笔呢, 就是那笔, 
So the last stroke is the right falling stroke. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can you follow Mr. Xu to write the character Yong? It is amazing character. Can you show me, Mr. Okay. Xu? 这些笔画非常神奇，他们做种种的组合就可以形成汉字。Yes. Can you follow him? Yes. So, have you finished writing this character, Yong? Mr. Xu said that different combination of these basic strokes can form different characters. 比如,横画和竖画的结合就可以 for example, the horizontal stroke combined with the vertical stroke, it will form a character, it means 10, the number 10. Yes. Yeah, this is 十, means 10. Okay, let's see again. Huh? Mm -hmm. Just a horizontal stroke and then vertical stroke. Ten character. Uh, the Chinese character Shi means ten is a uh, coming to being. Okay. So left stroke, left falling stroke and a right falling stroke can Combine, combine together, it will be the character Ren, which means human being. Can you follow him? Ren, left stroking, left stroke, left falling stroke, and right falling stroke combines Ren. So, Mr. Xu asked, have you, have you uh, felt the amazing of the Chinese character? Okay. Okay, and then how about your artwork? Can you show your artwork to Mr. Xu? Can you show your uh, calligraphy artwork to Mr. Xu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Amazing. I like your characters. I like your uh, uh, craft work. artwork, sorry. <laughs> and Mr. Xu is changing the rice paper and get ready for the ink paintings part. So I think so much about the Chinese calligraphy. Uh-oh. Okay, I think so much about the Chinese, uh, writing Chinese calligraphy part. And then we will step into the third part, how to draw ink painting. So, Mr. Xu, are you ready? Okay, look, a new piece of rice paper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's step into ink painting part and today we will learn how to draw bamboo on rice paper. Yes, bamboo. Oh,下面,下面,我来为大家示范中国画竹子的画王。那么在中国文化语境里面呢,竹子,它有特别的含义。主要的有两个含义, 
，第一个含义呢，它象征着人的这个这个、这个、这个、这个精神情操和气节，这是一方面；另外一个呢，它象征着人生的境遇，步步升高。Uh, in Chinese culture, the plant that best represents the spirit of Chinese scholar is bamboo, and we can say as the intractable style from its direct shape, and we can say the integrity from its straight joints. Okay. 那么竹子呢，主要由竹干和竹叶构成。So, a、uh, drawing bamboo. Uh, we will mainly draw the bamboo stem and also the bamboo leaves. 首先呢，我来为大家介绍竹竿的画法。竹竿的画法呢，它的顺序是自下而上，每一节每一节接下来的，自下而上。So first, we will、uh, draw the bamboo stem, and you you should draw the bamboo stem. From the bottom to the top. Okay. 大家跟我一起画。So let's draw together with Mr. Xu. 这是一个竹节。So this is a knot of the stem. Okay. 这是第二个竹节。And the third knot, then a piece of bamboo stem, is then. 再来一个 Oh, and the fourth one, and you can find the ink. The ink is lighter at the end of the、uh, stem. 好，我们根据这个竹子的形态稍加变化，我们再画一根竹子。We will draw the second piece of、uh, bamboo stem. Can you draw it smaller? This one it can be different. Can be slimmer. Okay. Okay, that's the second piece of bamboo stem. 竹竿的画法呢，在竹节部分稍作修饰。Okay. You can make、uh, some amendments at the joints on the joints. 那么中国画里面呢，它非常重要的一个部分就是墨色浓淡的变化。所以我再画一个，再画一杆竹。画墨色要淡一些的。So he will draw the third piece of bamboo stem, and look at the ink. It will be a light different. Okay. Yeah, this one is more slim, right? It's more slim. Decorate the uh, I mean. Yeah, oh, a smooth decoration of the joints. Okay. 然后我们接下来呢画竹叶。And then we will draw the bamboo leaves. 竹叶的要领呢是每一个竹叶的构成，它是由刚才我们学习的人字而展开的。So do you still remember the Chinese character, which means human being, 人？ So the bamboo leaves are kind of resemble that character. You know, 人字加一笔是这样的竹叶 Yeah, this is one of one of the bamboo leaves. 它们彼此叠加和交叉是这样 Okay. So for the bamboo leaves, we merely draw them on the top of the stem, and、uh, pay attention to 
they lay out. 比如，这在这面要画一个稀疏一点的。嗯哼。可以对它的这个一个竹节呢，就竹枝。And you can draw some branches, very, very thin and small branches. Okay, 基本上就是这个样子 Okay, so the bamboo is done. The drawing of a bamboo is done. 我在这儿给大家呢，这个。这个竹叶，再表达一下这个画法的基本的情况啊。啊 ，Mr. Xu will draw the bamboo leaves for you to demonstrate again. Demonstrate. 圆柱的，三米的。Yeah, you can draw like this. 四米的。嗯哼。So the the first one is two strokes like. Yeah, different shapes of bamboo leaves. Okay. Okay, then have you finished drawing the bamboo? Have you finished drawing the bamboo? And Mr. Shu. To give 大家表达一下，比如说你有颜色的话，如果你身边有颜色，你还可以用颜色来表达竹子的话吧。Yeah, Miss Mr. She said, if you have ink, if, if if you have colored ink, you can draw the colored ink of bamboo. But it's what he draws is the green ink, but it is hard for us to tell from the camera. Yeah, this is green bamboo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, have you finished drawing your own bamboo artwork? So, can you show your own bamboo artwork to Mr. Xu? Mm -hmm. Wow. Really good. Really good. So maybe you can put your artwork and hang on the wall as decoration. Okay. Uh, so much about the yin, the ink painting part. So I don't know if you have any questions. Have you type in the chat box? So now is the time for question and answer. And you can unmute yourself if you'd like to talk. Yes, ma'am, I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Um, I, you know yes. the, the calligraphy strokes with those seven characters, if mm -hmm. you were to um, write a book or put something in writing, is that the same characters you would use? Uh, pardon me, ma'am. The um, calligraphy, the seven strokes he showed at the very beginning, if mm -hmm. you were going to write a book, would it still use those same type of characters or is it a different, different? Uh, oh, uh, so if you just write in the book, you mean? Yes. Uh, it will be the same. It it it, it will be uh, the same as you write it. Okay, so it's uh, part of the alphabet. Uh, not alphabet. It is uh, basic strokes for mm -hmm. uh, for the combination of characters. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. You know? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, 展示那个汉字嘛，那七个基本笔画，刚才写的那些。
。你你拿过来，不是你，你拿过来。他刚人家刚才问的是那个问题。We we have a question in the chat. Uh huh. It says, "What is what is the most amount of strokes a character can have?" Uh, so just now this seven seven. Uh, I will ask Mr. Xu. 就是问，就是刚才，就是问这个笔画，对于一个汉字来说，这个笔画哪些是就是必须的。最需要的就是这这八种笔画都是基本的形态，八种嘛，七种，七种。但是永字八法里边还有一个就是多。啊、uh -huh. yeah. ，So are、uh, these seven uh strokes are the basic strokes? Uh, usually their different combination uh can form different characters. Uh, we can't tell which one is the most important、uh, stroke. Both of them are very important and are indispensable, indispensable for the for unnecessary for the、uh, formation of a character. Is, is this answer okay? Okay, we have another question. Where、uh -huh. do you where do you get materials for painting? Ah,、uh, you can buy from Amazon. <laughs> Ah,、uh, the paper. This paper is rice paper. So you can ah、uh, type rice paper inside, and then ah、uh, you can find rice paper. And the ink, you can just type Chinese ink. Then you can you can buy the ink, and also the br brushes. We we can we can buy all of this from Amazon. Okay. Next question. Everything is good. How,、no、how do you deal、necessary. with mistakes such as unforgiving medium? How do you deal with mistakes in such an unforgiving medium? Ah,、uh, 就是呃、uh, ，说这个要是错翻错写错了，你怎么办呢？像这种，这个就是说写错了怎么办啊？ Uh, 什么？ Yes. 就是你比如说你想写“勇”字，但是你写错了，笔画错了，你还能修改吗？ Yes. 不是，中国书法。中国书法的一个主要的特点就是不可逆，它是不可以涂改的。错了，错了，只能重写。So Mr. Xu said, "Ah,、uh, the Chinese ah、uh, uh, calligraphy. There is characteristic of Chinese calligraphy that is irreversible. So if you made the mistake, you can't, you can't ah、uh, put right." 所以在中国文化里面，白纸黑字意味着确定不可以更改的。So in Chinese culture, uh, black and white. I mean, the uh black characters in white uh on white paper. That means, and reversible. That means, um, you can't make any changes. Okay, okay. So, this is the answer for the the question. Okay, we have one more question. How has ink painting evolved in China throughout the centuries? Uh, can you repeat? How has ink painting evolved in China throughout the centuries? Uh, 问这个中国画它的发展史，这一个世纪，这几世纪以来的发展史，几世纪发展的啊，对。这个中国画，如果追溯它的源头，是战国时期。战国，中国的春秋战国，也就是说大约三千年前的这个历史时期。So for Chinese ink painting, it develops uh from uh, it is um you you can date back to three thousand years ago. OK， 继续。然后。它经过了历史上每一个时期的不同的这个变化，在材质上，或者说之后你自己的总结去吧啊，在材质的变化，比如说早期的，它是刻画，比如说在石头或者是这个砖石上面也刻画，就画像石，这你解释不了，就是在石头或者说这个砖上。So at the beginning, ah,、uh, the painting is on the. 
It has involved not maintained for 3,000 years. I haven't finished yet. So at the beginning, the, the painting is uh, like carving, carving on uh, the stone or on the totters, totters back. How do you see that? Okay. Now, uh -huh. So about 1,000 years ago in Tang Dynasty, day, uh, Chinese ink painting, uh, how to develop, de uh, got involved, you come to the, uh, how, how to say that? Prosperity. Come to the, the period of prosperity, then. Yeah, so first, uh, at the beginning, uh, people just uh, uh, paint on, uh, it's just now I said, it's like carving uh, on, the, on the stone, and then uh, uh, people draw on the cloth, on cloth, and then draw on the rice paper. So, Mr. Xu said, uh, this kind of rice paper appeared in Ming Dynasty. Day. Okay. Uh, mm. About 500, 600 years ago, the rice paper appeared, come into being. Mm. So, uh, the amazing character of this rice paper is that the water and the ink, they can blend and uh, develop the different kind of effects. So, he shows the a dark ink and the change between dark ink and the lighter light ink. So he asked us to say to say the yes. Uh, say the dark ink and the light ink. Anything else? Uh, so in the modern period, uh, Chinese uh, uh, painting uh, has a uh, has got some characters from the Western oil painting. So, uh, Mr. Xu asked, uh, this, uh, is his answer okay for you? And I'm not so good at the yeah. translation, I'm sorry. I think that's good. Thank you. Thank you to the artist and thank you for helping. It was wonderful. You're welcome. Thank you too. So any other questions? Um, there's a, what is the texture of rice paper? How is the texture of rice paper different from paper made for pencils, charcoal, or watercolor? Okay. 他问这个宣纸的这个材质和普通的纸有什么差别？哦，它是宣纸呢，它是主要是有加了一种原料叫做檀皮，就是檀树的皮。The oh. difference mainly lies in the uh, in rice paper. People add one of the uh, peel of one of the uh, of one kind of a tree called the 檀树。
Tan tree. Yes. So they put the peel of the tan tree uh, in the rice paper. So that's the ta the one of the ingredients of the tax the rice paper. Uh -huh. Okay. That's the answer. So any other questions? Um, now someone just said thank you for sharing this ancient art with us. You're welcome. No. Uh -huh. I, I guess we'll wrap up because we're out of time now, but thank you both very much. Uh, you are welcome, Mr. Shi. Thank you for your participating. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Have a good evening. Have a good evening.